a TBI, I mean, traumatic brain injury, mm-hmm. it, I, I, the way I think of it is like real time brain aging. Yes. It's just, it's like all of a sudden you just get a, 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 a knock to your head and it's like accelerated aging. Nope. So what would be a protocol for someone that, you know, let's say they take a blow to the head or they get hit with a ball, a soccer ball or, you know, whatever the football, whatever mm-hmm. sport that they're doing? Um, would it be like they should be taking high dose immediately? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm now in the camp and I think a lot of other researchers and a lot of the words come uh, coming from here in the United States. But if you're in contact sports, creatine should be taken on a daily basis because, unfortunately, if you do get hit, in the rodent model, when because you can't do this in humans, but when they've actually forced concussion in rodents taking creatine beforehand, the recovery symptoms are really accelerated. And in the only single human study was in children. As soon as these people in, in Scotland got head trauma, they put them on 0.4 grams of creatine per kilogram. So about 20 grams. These are just children immediately. And over six months, these children that were taking creatine had substantial improvements in self-care and efficacy. No blood biomarkers were taken, but at least it showed the improvement in recovery. 